Hi, Gigi. I wanted to talk about the recent adrenochrome experience because I guess it's still being sent out. And I don't know like when you guys are going through it and when you guys went through it and everything because you don't talk to me and tell me and I just have to like rely on like talking over the screen and hearing like I'm getting hit and I'm like, okay, I don't know which one you are, but okay, you're getting hit by the adrenochrome. Like, like I felt Ryan get hit by it. So I looked at his video. I went from Gigi's video to Ryan's video and I started talking to him and he was like, oh God. And I was like, okay, well, Ryan's obviously getting hit by it, but I mean, it's kind of easy to tell with Ryan, but it's not like e e very easy to tell with other people. And like, there's so many people in the background of your videos and stuff that I just don't, I just don't know. You know, it's not like Krista who like talks to me directly and she's like, I'm, I'm doing this right now. And like, Alyssa, I need, you know, I need you to look at my face. I need energy or, you know, Krista's like very direct and whatever. And it's very easy with her and the rest of you, it's not easy. So, um, I, I, I don't know, like when, it, when you're getting hit with a Katrina Chrome or what, but anyway, so, um, how did it start? So it started obviously when I moved home because this is like fall in Atlantis, fall in Lumeria, like, you know, ancient Egypt civilizations that have not ancient Egypt is actually a, um, is a stable space community that passed all of its tests. And that's why, let me go get my fucking map. You fucking idiots. What are you guys thinking about? Okay. I had a dream last night that I made this map like really big so you could see it. And like I started expanding on it and like filling it in and everything. So like you guys can all see it and how it all works and like very accurately and stuff. And it was like big. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck off. Um, so, okay, ancient, ancient Egypt is on the um, holy timeline, we'll just call it, and it's like here. So it's not like a fallen civilization. It's not at the very, very beginning of time, obviously, but <coughs> fuck. <coughs> I haven't been coughing all day. Okay. You guys need to calm down. I'm allowed to talk about this shit. To shut you fuckers up. Telepathically. Can't fucking get through if I stick up for myself. Alright. Um. So. Ancient Egypt is on the correct timeline of successful space colonies and then um, ancient Lumeria and ancient Atlantis. And is there, I feel like there's another one. There's like three. There's, there's three in a row, like right under ancient Egypt of failed space colonies, I call them, um, that all went through the same tests, the same practices as ancient Egypt. If you know about ancient Egypt practices, or you can look it up, okay? You can look up what the fuck they did in the fucking pyramids. It's not a secret. This is not a secret. What are you so embarrassed of? 
this is not a secret. This happened in the past. This, this is actually factual and accurate, okay? And you guys have memories about it. What went down in ancient Egypt with people? What went down with the ancient Lumerians? What went down with ancient Atlanteans? And then there's another one. There's three, okay? There's three failed space colonies. Maybe it's one that you guys haven't uncovered yet, but I'm hearing, there's, I, I know there's three. I, I'm hearing there's three because I'm talking to something I said to myself. I know there's three. It's a knowing, okay? So, um, yeah, so anyway, you guys keep going down to Adrenochrome land where they didn't pass their tests and they just keep cycling and cycling and cycling and cycling and no one stands up for the energy. And no one stands up for the next, you know, layer of the path of the one molecule. And you guys keep just cycling that over and over and over on the East Coast. Let's just keep cycling our negative memories and nobody can help us. Alyssa's not right here and she's not talking or anything. Fucking talking. It's so annoying. Like, you keep going back to that because, like, you think there's something to be embarrassed of or, like, you don't want to believe yourself that your friend is God or, you know, that your friend can help you or that your friend has compassion for you or whatever. And then you just keep cycling these bad cycles, we all know what went on. It's not a secret. It's, you can read it. You can, you can read about the practices of ancient Egypt right now if you Google it, what they did there. And it's there. Okay? So, um, so anyway, uh, you go through the practices and you do that to get over enlightenment. Enlightenment codes is that everyone is the same person. And they always refer to it as their inner child. I, I just, you just take your inner child everywhere when you're from ancient Lumeria and ancient Atlantis and ancient gobbledygook, whatever the fuck it's called. It's, there's, a, there's another one. Um, it's not like we've done this before in history and actually passed our tests to get through this cycle, to move on. Yeah, we have. It's called ancient Egypt. And we passed the motherfucking test. You stupid dummies. Fuck off. So, um, moved home, enter ancient Atlantis, and, um, you know, they do, you do that to swirl the energy. You do that to swirl with God and everything like that. But at some point, you got to break your own spell about ancient Atlantis. You know, you got to break your own freaking spell. Um, don't. Okay. Uh, they love to blame God. Let's blame Alyssa for everything. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm not sitting here trying to help you out right now. Like, let's blame God. You got to break the spell at some point. Aren't you still Christians? Aren't you still Muslims and everything? Why don't you say that then, Ian? Why don't you say, why don't you break the Muslim spell, Lisa? Again, putting every little motherfucking thing on God when you were a live human being with um, freaking IQ, you know, like take responsibility for yourself. Take goddamn motherfucking re responsibility for your goddamn motherfucking self. When I say that I'm God, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to help you right now. And then you still want to fucking argue with me every fucking day. You guys want to fucking argue with me. So I'm being told not to say that nothing is there anymore and to take responsibility for my argumentative energy. Love, Gigi Young, who is in the chat right now. So went through the practices, whatever, and I don't see anything. I see Hayden. Okay. I see Hayden. And then, um, oh, and then I went down to hell and did a unique recycling experience of my own that is from the New World Order uh, down in hell with unique, what I will call chimeras, since that's what Gigi's calling them. Um, and it's, you know, it looks like a horror video game. Okay. And then that creates an ecstatic 
blissful experience where I am then thus that, then what, pulling my energy back, looshing, looshing off of you stupid ancient Atlanteans that can't get it through your fucking head, um, looshing my energy back from you. So I did that and then gave that to the one as well, gave that experience to the one. And then um, the next part is like a blood transfusion where you you get uh, the blood put back in you and it's adrenochrome. It's what, you know, the Hollywood people, the conspiracy people call it adrenochrome. And it's like another realm of hell. And it's like administered through a nurse and it was really disgusting. It was graphic and disgusting, just like a video game would be, okay? I'm not shy um, to say your name, so you shouldn't be shy to say my name either, okay? That's what I guess I wanted to say. So, um, so I, I was administered like a blood transfusion in another part of hell, um, by a nurse, um, and it, it felt like 10,000 needles going into each of my veins on my arms. And I woke up at like six in the morning from it and it's a surgery and these are surgeries. These are space surgeries and you should get used to them. This is the new world order. And this is the start of the unite unique recycling system. Okay. That is run by your sister, Alyssa Junello. Um, and I woke up at 6 a.m. from the adrenochrome blood transfusion experience and I felt like 10,000 needles going into each arm intravenously and I felt like major blood rushes to the head going like up and down my body, like major blood rushes. And um, I already can't stand to like get my blood taken or I can't stand needles. I can I can stand the vaccine. Fine. I, I got like five vaccines. Who cares? <clears throat> but I don't like this part of the arm. I never want to have kids because of this part of the arm because, and I don't want anything coming out of a JJ. Like I'm not interested, but anyway, so, um, I don't like anything like medical because I'm from space and I'm the princess of space and I don't get my surgeries down here except for my boobs. But anyway, so, which was a great experience. They gave me like this crazy concoction of like anxiety medication intravenously. It was like beautiful. But anyway, regardless of that, uh, I was like almost having a panic attack from it. I felt extremely lightheaded. I was like, I I turned on Aaron right away, like six in the morning. And he's like, are you okay? Over the screen. Okay. I FaceTimed Aaron over the screen, just put on one of his videos. And he's like, are you okay? You look like blue, like in the the face are you okay? And I was like, uh, uh, like freaking out or whatever. And then like my sister's in the room and she's like, can you stand up? Can you try to stand up and see if you like feel like you're going to faint or not? And I tried to stand up and I felt okay, but she's like, you're wobbling, get back in bed. And so like, I, I got back in bed and I could still feel like the crazy, crazy feeling of intruding chrome. It feels disgusting. It feels awful. And, um, and she was like, are you going to be okay? Are you going to be okay? And I like just got so angry that like that I even have to go through this. And I just like pushed out my arm and I was like, you think this is going to fucking stop me? And, um, I just like grabbed my power back and then, oh, oh yeah. And you feel nauseous too. You feel like extremely nauseous when it's happening. And, um, yeah. And then, uh, I called on some higher selves. I just knew again, intuitively who to call and, I just did that and um, then it went away. I thought it was going to last for like, usually the surgeries last for like a day, a day and a half for me. I think Ryan said they last for him like a week, a week and a half. So um, if you're the one, it shouldn't last that long. And... This one actually didn't even last that long because I just, I just did a ritual where I called three higher selves and, um, they were all ex-boyfriends and went up the food chain and restored, I just restored myself like pretty much right away. So if you are going to go through adrenochrome coming up, that's what you should do. Call, call on your higher selves, 
Figure it out on your, figure it out by your fucking self. Stop asking God every goddamn motherfucking question. You can figure it out. You can figure out who to call. You can trust yourself intuitively, and that's the whole point of this goddamn motherfucking game. Okay. Um, and then you like call your power back, and your power lives in this area, the same area where ancient Egypt lives. Okay. Well, they passed their test. I wonder if they knew how to do this. The land of make-believe. So anyway, that was like the last surgery. And then I died like two days prior to that. Um, I mean, my dad knows how to put me in a coma and pull me out. I'll just say that, okay? And he did it. He did it. And um, he'll do it again. It's like the reptilian part of me is like trying to pull myself out and like the light side of me keeps trying to put me back in. Like the dark is like I've had enough. Like the dark side is just like I've literally had enough. Like we're the Anunnaki and we're getting the fuck out of here. Like this is a failed space program and like we don't we don't care anymore. Like how many times we have to tell humanity to help Alyssa because she's God and to not, you know, like we know that like you're used to like having a God where you throw all of your burdens on, on God, right? But it's actually quite the opposite when God is in body. And my guides are telling people this, okay? I'm saying this out loud right now, but my guides are actually going around and like telling people this. Like you don't throw your burdens on Alyssa. You take care of Alyssa when she is in body, when she's a person, because the one molecule is a reflection of all the rest of you motherfuckers. So if you take care of Alyssa, you will then be taken care of. And I've already said that like a million times. I feel like I've said that a million times. So the dark side is just like completely fed up and wants to pull me out and it's probably going to keep trying to pull me out. And the light side <clears throat> keeps trying to pull me back in. And it's just like, why? Like, I, I don't know. Gigi's fucking broadcast was a goddamn motherfucking mess today. It feels like I made no, no progress with her whatsoever. And I just felt like I feel like I'd be better off like posting a video about adrenochrome than sitting with my sister and like trying to like help her out on her stupid fucking math test. So I, that's what, that's, that's what's happening right now. Um, I've had so many surgeries since I've been home. It's in, like, I, I, you know, deleted the robot program, the small grays, um, because they were robots and they were running low on energy and they weren't big enough to hold a uh, heart chakra. So I had to basically swim around them. And that means I can't take over the suit. And so they were like going haywire because I couldn't take over their suits. And so I deleted the robot, the Zeta program, and then I implemented a new program with uh, Palladians and reptilians and the Palladians, uh, are like a different kind of Palladian. Like, you know, I guess there's different kinds of reptilians. So I guess there's different kinds of Palladians and these Palladians like are like more fierce, like the reptilians, i.e. they, you know, they zap. I'm just going to be honest. They can, they can like zap you to death. And I mean, this is a video game. You got to stop thinking like humans are at the top of the food chain or like, that any of this even matters. None of this matters. Okay. So it's literally just a video game and, um, the, the humans are not at the top of the food chain except for me. Cause I'm the one molecule. So, uh, I upgraded the Palladians so that they could play equally sort of with the reptilians. And that was a whole surgery. And like the Palladians are like icy cold and the reptilians are like very, very warm. And, uh, that was another surgery. That one took at least like two days, three days. Then there was another one that Adam was here for. And I don't remember what happened with that one. And there was another one where Brandon walked in 
where Gigi walked in first and she like put a timer on and she like talked to me for a bit and then Brandon walked in and then put like an apparatus on to like heal me and that was another surgery big surgery and then I had to um zap the Zetas because they weren't listening to me and so I had to let them know their program was over so I had a reptilian zap their head and I felt that bleed through because they come to about this high so I felt the bleed through right here and it really felt like I was going to go to the hospital with the amount of pain I was feeling right here then I had like my stomach filled up multiple times with like hot glowing lava I'll say uh like three or four times and then today I think just today I had my high heart filled up which your high heart is just your heart chakras here and your high hearts right here i had that filled up just today that was a surgery i just had from brandon today and i like to say it's brandon i know it's me okay but i like to say it's brandon um i've had crown surgery like the more like depends on like what i do and where i do it depends on like what gets filled up and what happens but like I said like a few things to someone and like my crown started like to appear. Um, so there's been a ton of surgeries since I've been home. People are like, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. But like, I'm like, I'm like getting a, sur a new surgery like every single day. Plus the downloads are coming in so fast that like I can hardly keep up with it. People will, like tell me like a download that I said from like two weeks ago. And I'm like, oh yeah, I did say that. I totally forgot that because it's just like been like bombarding. It's called the quickening. And I talked about this years ago. I posted on my Facebook when I learned about this stuff, how it goes awakening, quickening, and then the sickening. I didn't have a quickening last year. I didn't have like a ton of downloads last year at all. Last year was like chill. I was held by Joel year and um, he wants to delete the green this year. Brandon, <laughs> why do you guys want me to be stupid? Um, they're like, Brandon, mommy. <laughs> um, they want to delete the green heart and complete the surgery with the high heart chakra. That's basically... Um, Chris Hemsworth. So, yeah. He has a name and a face and an age and a birthday and a job and kids and, like, all that crap. And he's, like, literally the high heart. Like, how stupid is this fucking game? 